Hi, I'm Jeremy from Pink Orange, and this is why you should care about the suspension on your snowmobile. So, I'm going to talk about snowmobile suspension, and there really is two different setups, two different things, but they'll apply to almost any brand, unless you're driving something weird, like the Rush chassis, that's a little bit funky, but other than that, this applies to all of them and will actually make a difference. Let's start. The front suspension is very much so irrelevant, so we're gonna leave that to last. Everything happens on that rear skid. So the skid he just showed you usually is comprised of springs and a couple of shocks and a bunch of adjustment. There's two very different skids. We have the mountain skid and we have the trail skid. The mountain skid is obviously meant to go in the mountain. The trail skid is meant to go in the trail. Eh? See? So on your mountain sled, it's meant to let your snowmobile just, as soon as you throttle, go right up so I could go over anything I need to go and keep the nose high. That all happens in the rear suspension. On your trail machine, it's meant to let you transfer, but it doesn't want to let you go too crazy because it wants to keep the skis relatively close to the ground so that you have the good handling. And then that's why that's the trail skid. So we're gonna start with the trail skid because it's probably the one that can take the most advantage of adjustments. Your mountain skid, as long as the thing's going sky high, you're happy and it's actually gonna wanna do it naturally. So the first thing that you should want to do on your snowmobile suspension is adjust the front shock in the rear skid. So that shock, what that machine is doing is that's holding all the weight of your snowmobile, whether you're putting a lot of pressure on the skis or you're taking all the pressure off the skis. See where I'm going with this? So if you want a snowmobile that is planted on the ground and just handles super, super well, uh, you're gonna wanna lower that shock so that you're putting more weight on those skis. If you want a snowmobile that really transfers, is very light on the nose, uh, you're gonna wanna tighten that up and shift the balance of the snowmobile towards the back of it. So really this front shock is what's really controlling everything that's happening on the snowmobile. It's probably the most important adjustment that you can make. There's also limiter straps to that shock on all the suspension components. The limiter straps are gonna limit how much this can raise the nose or lower it. So definitely the looser the limiter strap, the more that that nose can ride higher. Other than that, on this rear skid, your, your springs, springs are just preloaded. So as long as when you sit on the machine, it kind of has the nice height, that's all you want to do with your spring. So when that's tight, you're good to go. Your back shock just has to do with the chop and the bump that you're going to get. So adjusting that to comfort is good. That front shock on that rear skid is where the whole balance of the machine is going to happen. The biggest difference between the trail and the mountain skid is the trail skid actually has limiter blocks. It actually limits how much of your skid can transfer until it will stop lifting and go forward. There's a little bit of adjustment on the limiter blocks. Usually try to put set those as like the most travel as you can. Some guys take the limiter blocks off. You just gotta be careful because sometimes the suspension can actually hit the bogey wheels and the bogey wheels blow up and then you go looking for warranty and it's not warrantied. You're an idiot, you take it off. Just fucking put it back on. And now if we move up to the front suspension, the front suspension is essentially how much pressure are those skis gonna put on the ground and how well are they gonna take these bumps and everything. So if I'm casually riding and I don't necessarily, I'm, I'm not trying to go as fast as I can everywhere, going for a more comfort setting and a looser setting at the front is gonna be ideal. If I really want that ski to dig in as I turn, and that when I brake hard, there's a lot of pressure on those, what I'm really gonna wanna do is tighten that suspension all the way up. So aggressive riding, stiff in the front, and comfort riding, a little bit looser. So that's how you adjust the suspension on your snowmobile. And this is all relevant to the new style of snowmobile. So if you're trying to adjust the suspension on your 1996 Indy and you're mad because it's not working, it's because it's an old piece of shit and you should go buy a new snowmobile. This has to do with anything that is rider forward. Rider forward means they took the engine, they shoved it there, and they took the rider and they shoved it there, and front suspension's here, rear suspension's there. So as long as the chassis is neutral, this will apply to it. 
If you're driving a shitty snowmobile, buy a new one, try this, and then you'll know what I mean. So that's why you should care about the suspension on your snowmobile. Go outside, adjust it, go ride it, try it, see how it goes. Comment, let us know how it goes. Send us a picture, let us know how that goes. And then do all the other things you're supposed to do, like like us and I don't know, subscribe, comment, share. Sharing involves going this way. Do that.